Hello and welcome. This is Michelle with Paper Stamp Inc. Thanks for stopping by where I'm going to share with you some alternative projects for the January 2020 Stampin' Up! Paper Pumpkin Kit. Stay tuned and we'll dive right into the samples and do a couple of projects together. with Paper Pumpkin. Let me explain that really quick. It's a kit that shows up in your mailbox every month. It always includes all the supplies as well as instructions to make some fun projects. You get a stamp set and an ink spot you get to keep and usually there's leftover bits and bobs from the kit that you can also utilize going forward. Um, it's a great way to build up your stash of stamps as well as ink spots. Over time in your first kit, you're gonna get even a Stampin' Block. So you have pretty much everything you need. Throw in a pair of scissors, you can take that kit and go. Let's talk about this month's kit. It is made for little three by three note cards and Valentine treat pouches. But I like to take those items from the kit and see what I can do with them. If you are looking for inspirational projects, whether it's paper pumpkin or other paper crafting ideas, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's talk about the items that I came up with. So I took those pouches and I took one of them and I made just a little sour cream pouch bag. Put this happy Valentine's Day tag on with the twine from the kit and this would be quick and simple. I didn't do a tutorial on this because there's lots of tutorials on sour cream pouches out there. So you can look those up, very fun. And then I took one of the pouches and I used it as intended, but inside I took one of those three by three note cards, cut the front off, I cut the um, corner of one of the pouches to create a little pocket there. And then I put a tea packet in. It fits snugly back in those pouches and just a fun little gift idea. Put a little bit of ribbon twine through there, a glue dot to hold it closed and stamp for you on there and it's ready to go. So I also had fun um, thinking of some little classroom treats. I mean, who does not like Google Eyes? So I've got lip balms. I used two of those hearts for the wings and I adhered them by taking a little strip of cardstock and wrapping it around here. And then I just took some little strips of black, um, rolled them around a, a pen and added some Google Eyes. So I think, who doesn't like Google Eyes? They're just gonna get a smile out of anybody. And we're gonna do these two projects together really quick. This is just a real simple idea, but it's um, a bookmark placer. So you just put that over the edge of your book. Let's be friends when those be fun for the classmates. And then here's another idea for classmate gifts. This um, pencil pack with the be mine and the heart note on the front there. You could write the two here and from on the back of your squares. So let's do a couple of these projects together here today. I'm going to bring out my little mini trimmer, and this is one you can earn during celebration um, when you join. And you can join as either a discount shopper or a business builder. It's up to you. Let me know if you want more information on that, but you're going to get lots of free items when you sign up for Stampin' Up! anyway. But when you do it during celebration, you get even more. So I'm just going to take this pouch here and I am going to cut this off first. Let's cut this as, um, remind myself of my measurements here. So it is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I want to cut this down to three and a quarter as well so that I've got a nice square. And then I'm just going to line up my points just like that so that I, I know that I'm going to get a nice triangle shape. 
out of that. And that simply, we have our little pocket. And then all I did was use the Let's Be Friends. Oops. <laughs> I did bring out my larger stamp pads for these because I just find it easier to do. And I save my smaller ones for when I am on the go to take with me. They're nice and compact. So we've got our Let's Be Friends. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. And we're going to add a couple of these on on there. And placement is completely up to you where you'd like to put those. And then let's slide this whole thing onto you. could go either side with these because it is reversible, which it's just beautiful. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, there's this beautiful foil coloring or foil uh, design on there. And so I'm just going to put that up in the corner there. And then we have a fun little bookmark, corner bookmark holder for a gift. Now for the pencils, let's bring in, I've got some, some different colored ones. I think I actually got these um, on sale at Easter um, or after Easter last season, but I think that these fun little polka dots and things would work just fine for Valentine's as well. And we're going to cut this down to um, two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. So I just want a smaller square. And then I'm going to come back here and I am going to cut this strip from that extra, um, extra green panel. And that's all the trimming we have to do with that. Now to get my band, I just simply took and wrapped this right around. I didn't try and worry about measurements and how long it was or any of that. I just took that whole strip, wrapped it around, put some glue on there and just hold it for just a couple moments to make sure it's nice and set. And I'm going to set that aside. And for this one, I did a little bit extra on this B. I wanted to do some coloring and give a little bit more impact. So simply took my Stampin' Write marker, or you could take a pen that you have, any kind of a black pen, and I just colored in those stripes and the head and the little antenna there. And for a little bit more fun, we're going to take some Wink Estella and color in those wings, and that's going to give us a nice sparkle on there. Let's see. I don't know if you can, you guys can see that that little bit of shimmer that you get. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but there's just a little bit of a shimmer sparkle on those those wings that you get that impact in real life. We're going to put together our square by taking one of those hearts. We're going to put it on a diagonal on this piece and you don't have a whole lot of extra room. So use your liquid glue and you get that ability to shift that around until you know you've got that laid out the way you want it. And I use my grid paper to line it up too and helps me to make sure I've got that nice and straight. Set our little B aside and let's work on our sentiment which is be mine. So I think that's just so cute. <laughs> be mine. And we're gonna stamp one of these. These came in the kit as well. And I'm gonna stamp it right towards the middle there but then I want to trim these this piece down because I just found it to be a little large for what I was doing. So I'm gonna just use my scissors and make this a little bit skinnier. There we go. And now if you want to get the same type of angle you can come in with these. Let me 
with your scissors and you can use the center line and cut up a little bit to the middle cut in from the corners and get your tag and or if you are really precise I want to make sure you've got the exact same angle let's see this one that came with it we'll use that then you can just line that up here and find it easier to cut from the back so you can just line that up and go okay that's about where I want it and just follow the lines on this other tag and then you know you'll have the same angle on your tag I know that some of you out there want it to be exactly the same some of you don't don't care it's either way is fine sometimes I get caught up in the details and I like to have everything um, measure precisely and then sometimes I like to just wing it so really depends on my mood <laughs> I'm gonna take this paper piercer and we're just gonna put one of these flowers on each end there just to give some little extra touch let's get our B on there first before I add this on and we're almost done with these projects now I do have another video that has a bunch of um, designs and a really special surprise inside for one of those um, cards that I'm making from other pieces of the kit. So make sure that you stay tuned and uh, look for that video. I had a lot of fun with this kit and my cat has decided that he thinks he needs to get his input in here as well. Sorry about that. So there's the a little pencil set so you've got a few ideas we came up with five different ideas the sour cream pouch the tea bag pouch the pencil the um, lip balm and the bookmark so all sorts of fun things you can do for classroom gifts co-worker gifts uh, things for the kids hope you enjoyed this if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up I appreciate your feedback leave me a comment below let me know which of these you plan to make and give out this Valentine's. Have a blessed day, and until we meet again, make sure you grab your paper stamp and ink and do something creative.